Ladies and gentlemen, Direct Sale Nation presents Chantel Schultz. Get the latest information on direct sale companies, products, business building strategies, and opportunities. We support the guys and gals next door because we are the guys and gals next door. Join us at directsellnation.com to find and list a business and sign up for our newsletter. And now your host, Chantel Schultz. Well, we're here today with Stacy Lynn Ellis, and she is the CEO and founder of Sarsaparilla. How are you today? I'm very good, Chantel. Thank you. How are you? I'm excellent. So glad you're here. Well, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to be a part of the Direct Cell community? Absolutely. Um, I'm a mom of four, and I'm married, and uh, I, I found Sarsaparilla probably about, um, well, in October of 2013. And um, I'll tell you, I kind of thought about this business for the direct sale business model for about 10 years. And I didn't really do much about it because I didn't know, I didn't know how, how to go about it. Um, I think after my last, my, my corporate position, I was missing out on a lot with uh, the family life at home, the kiddos, the husband was taking care of everything. And um, I was exhausted. And I in bed with my daughter to read her a story one night and she just kind of looked at me and asked me if what I did that day was funner and better than being away from her and I know right and I think that you know anybody who is a mom or even a daughter knows uh, who has a mom that's away from her knows how they feel about mom when she's not home or around and I know I definitely felt you know the gut-wrenching you know I can't believe she just said that to me you know and I knew that at that point I was going to have to do something. And I wanted to do something that actually would make a difference. And it wasn't so much that I wanted to do something that was going to be, you know, oh, get rich fast. You know, because I think, I think there's a perception out there with direct sell or even, you know, people get involved in um, level marketing businesses that is like a get rich quick thing. And um, that wasn't the purpose behind this. The purpose behind it had a lot of feeling, um, emotion, really. Um, to make sure that other moms didn't go through what I, I did in hearing those words. And um, so I, I really I, I dove into this. I mean, I, I, I quit a very um, an executive position with my company, and I decided to and I masses I reached the women. I wanted to touch everybody, and I wanted, I guess in my mind, I wanted a company that was going to empower um, more people, and so in that, Seth Berla was born, and we started, we launched the business, started it, and here we are. <laughs> Exciting. So how did you go about choosing Sarsaparilla as your company? I mean, obviously, you founded it, but how did you, um, you know, come to that? Well, um, a couple different things, just because of the fact that I am a jewelry designer and have been um, for so many years, it almost seems like a natural fit. And um, I didn't honestly know exactly when I left my job what I was going to do. Um, I had an idea, but and I knew what my talent was, and I knew that I wanted it to go to work for me again, but I didn't know, I didn't know how. And... Um, so the direct sales option became very apparent after giving a lot of thought and a prayer to what my future was going to entail. And Sarsaparilla, um, it's kind of a, a funny story, but after going through names and things of what, what I wanted to name the company and what I wanted it really to, um, to portray to uh, women or the direct sales community, um, I am uh, what somebody would probably call more of a Western woman, um, and my family, we, we live the Western lifestyle. However, um, I wouldn't say that I'm a core, core Western woman. I like to dress up. I like to wear high heels. I like to look snazzy, um, as some other women do, too. And I also have a Western side, which is riding horsebacks and living in the, in the countryside and 
Um, so I had a logo in mind and it was um, a stiletto with a spur on it. And the representation of that was um, was a crossover line. So it would be a, a it would be a line that was specifically designed for anyone who wanted to wear it and would have the diversity to do so. So um, yeah, that's and then sass gorilla came from the sass and then the spur from the shoe and then spurilla, which was the root beer, and just just went from there. <laughs> Super cute, super cute. I love that whole concept. Down here in Texas, there are people wearing their cowboy boots and bling. Their high heel. Well, now they make high heel cowboy boots, but oh, <laughs> they're just like all into I'm the have sassy the first stuff. High heel for... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Okay, well, who would you say is your biggest cheerleader, or who inspires you the most to do well with your company? Oh my goodness, I will tell you. I, I, you know. That is a really tough question because I have been so fortunate to have a few. And um, my husband, my family, um, <laughs> my friends, and my parents. I mean, I think that, you know, my my mom has been very involved in my success from the very beginning. And I, you know, she's, she comes to the office every day and, and, and works very hard to make sure that our field is, um, is getting their, their needs fulfilled. And um, she is constantly telling me, <laughs> you're doing a great job. Um, this is, uh, it, it is uh, a, a big deal to launch a business of this magnitude. And um, first and foremost, I needed to prove myself and I needed to do it myself. So I knew that I had a plan that was repeatable and that was going to be um, a successful plan for the field and for somebody else. So I think that with that, Honestly, I'd say my my husband and my mom and dad, and they were such phenomenal role models growing up, hardworking. I come from a hardworking family, like I said, and, and, and that, that helps to see that dedication in going for what you want and making it happen. That is awesome. It's always wonderful to have such a wonderful support system, and it sounds like you definitely do. Well, can you walk us through the products that your company offers? Well, fantastic. I love, this is my favorite part. Are you kidding? Um, we have uh, we have a, a fantastic product line. Um, our line is primarily sterling silver and turquoise, and it is um, mostly made in the USA. And I take a lot of pride in that because it's very difficult to get a product that is made in the USA and in the direct sale industry. There's not many of them out there. There are some, but um, in in this particular uh, in this particular category, there isn't. And um, I knew that it might be a little bit of a struggle to get a line out there that was made in the USA, but we have successfully done it. Um, there is a small import uh, line in our jewelry, which is some of our mini beads. But the exciting part about our USA made jewelry is that it is hand stamped by Native American um, Navajo and El Zuni Indians. And um, we have some cast pieces. It's it's again, it's sterling. And what I love about it is that these pieces are like air loom pieces. These aren't pieces that that are eventually going to wear out and are going to get tossed or, you know, the kids are going to go through the jewelry box and say, oh my gosh, mom had those 40 years ago and look at it, it's gross. It's, it's still going to be something that they're going to look to to keep and, and, and hang on to. And um, the other part of that is some of these pieces are hand stamped um, with, with their signature. So if, or, or like a, a marking, so if some of these Native Americans are gaining a little bit of no notoriety in their artistry, um, they have a marking that they um, put on the back of their piece. And with that, unfortunately, if they do pass, um, uh, that piece becomes more valuable. Of course, you know, just like a poet or any other artist, uh, when they're gone, they're they never gain the fame that they are should be due recognized while they're alive. They they gain that after they die, and so um, some of these pieces become very valuable. And I think uh, that's a really kind of exciting, especially when um, you look to some of them are and some of them aren't. And so when you get your piece, um, for an example, you and I might order the exact same piece in our catalog, but since we are mass producing these pieces, they may be produced by um, one or more um, people. And one native may have, 
may have the recognition and the other may not. And so you, you, it's almost like I always equate it to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and getting that golden ticket. You know, some of these women, our, 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 our customers, find it very exciting to open up their sterling silver piece and see if it's stamped on the back. And that's exciting. You know, um, I do it. You know, I, I, I have some of our pieces. And, man, when I got it, I opened it up and was like, oh, wow. You know, so that's kind of, that's kind of special about our line. That's very neat. That I've never even heard of that concept, but that is so awesome. I don't know. That's and I love the whole artistic thing, you know, like talk about taking ownership within your craft. I mean, that is great. Yeah. Oh, and leaving a legacy behind. That's awesome. So, which products are your favorite and why? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm fortunate because I get to go and I pick out the turquoise that is put into um my designs. And so uh, I get an idea of what the rock is like, and um, I always come out with a preconceived, like right now, for an example, we are um, setting the line for May, and um, I'm, I have put, uh, we just launched the business in October, so it is a very, very new business, but I get to look at, you know, what we had in October, and I've almost put it kind of behind me. Even though I've got some really fabulous pieces in the line that I love, but I do love, I love the mixed metal. I love, um, I love how we do our chains, that they're so, we sell our chains and our pendants separately. So I love the fact that people can create their own style with, with this, with this line. And nobody has to have the same look, you know, and that comes from living in a smaller town. So, um, and, and the only place to shop was Maurice's, for example. And boy, when you went out, what was everybody wearing? Maurice's, you know, so, um, and, and, and love Maurice's, but not on everybody in the, you know, in the room. But this comes with just, yeah, right? Yeah. Creating your own look. And um, so I like to mix my metals. Sometimes I'm not always wearing sterling, um, a sterling pendant on a sterling chain. Sometimes I put it on. Uh, an antique copper chain and we have a piece in our line that is got um, it's a, a beautiful piece it's uh, turquoise and pearl and um, it's got a, a nice turquoise teardrop and then a pearl piece at the top I think it's very stunning it, it's a statement piece um, and I think that that is probably one of one of my favorite I, li I like the the different stones that I get to pick I have a hard time picking I really do because I get to look at everything before it comes out, and then all of them are my favorite. So, um, but uh, and then I, I move on to different designs, and so we're getting ready to release some pretty fun stuff. But awesome! Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to look up that pearl and turquoise thing. I wore pearls and turquoise on my wedding day. I just love that because pearls are so classy, and yeah. turquoise is so like southern and western. Like I just. And we had a whole Western theme, like we had hay bells at my wedding and I wore boots and a short dress. <laughs> it's very laid back, lots of fun. So I just Absolutely. love that combination. Like, oh, I mean, that's like perfect. That goes right along with your name, Sass Farilla. <laughs> it's great. Right, right. <laughs> okay, well, um, how can customers go about getting these products? Do they order online or are y'all, do y'all do party plan or how does that work? Well, um, I, we, we, we do party plan. We are a party plan business. And of course, um, even though I'm here at the corporate office and, uh, we have different options for people to, to get in touch with us. We do have the website, um, at www.dasparilla.com. And, um, you know, I, I, we have it set up now where you can look up a stylist in your area. And if we have a stylist in your area, well, then I really try to push the business towards that stylist because, you know, it's, it's, it's really important that um, I be a big supporter. I truly am uh, their biggest fan. And so um, without them, we wouldn't have Sarsaparilla. And so, um, but they can order online and uh, we do, we do have the party plan business, which is probably uh, a very, very successful model for for the of course party plan business direct sales yes oh yes well that's how women like to shop i love it personally <laughs> get to go out with your girlfriends get away from the kids for a night and then spend money exactly 
Exactly. So can you run through some of the host rewards? Absolutely. Actually, I am wearing the hostess gift for the next two months. So um, we have the, um, the mini beads and silver bits, turquoise necklace. And then we also offer what is called a hostess special. So when you, um, when you reach $500 in retail sales, you are able or, able or eligible and a, and a hostess, and, or excuse me, and a booking. Um, you are eligible for um, what's called our hostess special. Now, I also wore that today, too, and it is this turquoise and sterling silver piece. So, as cute as it is, and then these earrings. So, these earrings and that turquoise piece also come along um, with that hostess special, and it's, they have an option to either take the hostess special at $25, or they can opt out and not want, you know, if they don't want that special, they don't have to have it. But we always do have a hostess gift, we want to reward our hostesses um, for having their parties. We also give them a 50% off item um, if, they, if they get to the $500 in sales. And then when they come up a few levels to $1,000 in sales, then they, they can get all these items as well as an additional 50% off item. Oh, great. So does your company offer any specials besides the host rewards and the hostess gifts? Well, you know... We do, uh, we do periodically, we just kind of release them out, um, out, out. We haven't really had, we really haven't had much of an opportunity yet to do too much because it's just been since October. Right. We do have some things planned for the year incoming, but, um, just like certain pages of our catalog will be, um, discounted. Sometimes we have free shipping. Um, we do offer gift certificates. Um, for for the host uh, for the well, the hostesses and for anybody who wants to purchase. So yeah, we do have some different things that we offer at different times, but it'll be yet to be seen because we haven't done any of that just yet. Oh great! Well then, whenever that comes out, are there going to be? How can people find out about them? Will they just need to periodically visit the website, or is there a newsletter? Absolutely, there's a newsletter. Um, that is going to, we have just, uh, well, gosh, again, because we're so new, which is so exciting, we have just signed up for our newsletter program. And so a newsletter will be going out. In addition to, we post everything on Facebook. Um, we are very engaged. Uh, we are very engaged with our, with our likes, with our, with our community on our Facebook page. So we try and put everything out there quite often. So people know what's going on both corporately. And then we also have our stylists who have, um, they've engaged our corporate Facebook out to their friends and they have their own corporate or they have their own business Facebook. So we try to make sure that we keep everybody engaged through either our corporate Facebook or our, our, or our stylist Facebooks as well. But if, if all else fails, they can go on the, on the, uh, on the website and find us there as well. Oh, great. So um, how would you say your customers would benefit the most in savings when they order from y'all? I would definitely say hosting a party plan, uh, hosting a trunk show. We call them trunk shows at Sarsaparilla. So having a trunk show is the best way to succeed in um, higher sales. You know, um, this, is, this has been some very uh, interesting times for us because we're looking at, um, we have about 20 stylists with our company now, and most of them are, I mean, we are spread out all over the place, which is really, really exciting for us. And um, we are finding what, what we know as our average party sales in both um, a, in trunk show, which is direct in the home, and then we have uh, Facebook parties, uh, and we also have just um, Evite type parties and I am book parties. And so by far the party plan trunk show in home party is the most successful event. Um, you know, the girls like getting together and you know, and as much time and as busy as we all are, because we get a lot of this, why well, I'm so busy. We all are. Um, there's nobody, there's nobody that's not busy, but the fact of the matter is, is getting together and actually um, getting in the same room with your girlfriends is a good release. And we need that. You need that. And, and it's proven when these girls get together and they're having fun and, and whether they purchase or not, which they do, that's, that's, that's always a bonus. <laughs> but, um, you know, 
they're having fun doing what they're doing. And that is what matters to us is that you're coming out, you're enjoying yourself, you're having a great evening with your girlfriends, you're telling stories, you're playing dress up, you're doing what you love to do. And we're girls. Come on. We love jewelry, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Right. And I mean, I just well, I, like we were talking before the show, like I'm a stay at home mom. So I don't get a chance to really go out and socialize and yeah. with adults, you know, or at least not on like other than play dates. <laughs> so I look I forward that. to these types of things. I'm like, I'm busy Saturday. Of course not. <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's wonderful. So um, let's see, do y'all offer fundraisers of any sort? Well, I'll tell you, um, we we don't at this time. However, um, as as far as we're working on some ones, some fundraisers to go into the future with um, on a, on a corporate level. Now, if our stylists choose to do something on a personal level, we leave it up to the individual stylist to make that decision. But um, I hope that we end up engaging in more of them in our future. Excellent. All right. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to say about your products um, before we wrap up or how people can get in touch with you or with the company? Oh, my goodness. Well, I just I think more importantly, if somebody is wanting to get in touch with Sarsaparilla and wanting to do some shopping or just enjoy uh, um, the uniqueness of our catalog. And uh, and I'll tell you something I will. I do want to share with you the uh, one of the unique uh, pieces of our catalog and is the naming of it. Um, when you go in and you look at our products names, um, we have a, a wonderful young lady who has done the creative on our catalog, and I'm extremely proud of the job that she's done because I think that when we have parties, when I have parties, two of the two of the two of the biggest questions I get are how'd you come how'd you come up with the logo and how'd you come up with the name of Sarsaparilla, and the other is oh my gosh where'd you come up with all these names, and um, I I would love to take credit for all of that, but I absolutely can't. Um, there's, there's a talented young woman who is behind that catalog. So I like, uh, you, you, to, you or our customers to go in and enjoy, um, reading the catalogs. It is actually a good read. And, uh, they can also do that at our website, which is www.sasparilla.com. And they can contact us if they are interested in the business opportunity or if they just want to host a party and we will get them in touch with somebody who can definitely get out there and, and host a trunk show for them. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here today. And I'm looking forward to our talk tomorrow. Oh, thank you. Me too. Thank you. Thanks for listening. And we look forward to meeting you at directsellnation.com where we support the guys and gals next door. Be sure to tune in next time for more great information from Direct Cell Nation and Chantel Schultz. Please be aware that these interviews are conducted with independent representatives and are not official spokespersons for their respective companies. For more information about a specific company, please visit their website.